Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we're doing something a little bit special and a little bit different, aren't we? Yeah. There are a lot of lonely people in the world right now. I don't know about you guys, but I think just about everybody knows somebody who's immunocompromised. Do you know what that means? No. no? <laughs> immunocompromised is when someone is maybe sick or a little bit old and it's really easy for them to get sick and so they're being quarantined in their place of residence and and what quarantine means is that they don't get to see people so they're really lonely and so today we're going to be doing something a little bit fun to maybe help some of those people who are feeling lonely I know I want to send my card to my grandma she's 94 years old and she hasn't been able to visit anybody because of these crazy times we're living in right now so we're yeah. going to send her a card. And do you know what we're going to draw for our card today? A teddy bear. A Aww. teddy bear. And the reason we're doing teddy bears is, if you haven't heard of it, there's those things called teddy bear hunts going on right now in all 50 states. Everybody is sticking teddy bears in their windows and then parents are driving their kids around and hunting for these teddy bears. And so in the spirit of the teddy bear hunt, we thought we would draw a teddy bear today. Yeah. And we're gonna send the teddy bear in card form to my grandma. And if you guys know somebody who's lonely and who would really love a card, send it to them. So that's yeah. what we're doing today, right? Okay, so let's get started. Um, all you need for this project is some scrap paper for making a card. So you can see I've got this just red paper I found in my scrapbook and it's, I cut it in the shape of a card, and so each of us has one of those. And then, you guys don't have to do this, but I went ahead and I had some adhesive colored paper that I cut out in the shape of a window with a little flap that opens. And so when you peel this off, it becomes a sticker and you can put it right on your card. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our card, we're gonna paint our teddy bear on the watercolor paper, and we'll stick it to our card and then put the window over the top. Okay, <laughs> so that's kind of what we're doing today. Sound fun? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you want to get the same results that we're gonna get today, you're gonna need watercolor paper. It's important to use high quality paper when you're using watercolors, and that's because not all paper can handle water. So this is cotton watercolor paper. It is, I'll show you the block I have. It is by Fabriano Artistico. This is a five by seven block. And I just took a sheet of that paper and cut it in half so each of us has a little piece of watercolor paper, <laughs> okay? And then we're gonna also be using our liquid watercolors today. But you guys can use any watercolors you have at home or if you don't even have watercolors, don't worry, just use markers or colored pencils, whatever you have to color your card. Even crayons. Even crayons. It'll be so well received by whoever gets it. They're just gonna love it no matter what. So let's learn how to draw a teddy bear. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with the head. Now teddy bears basically just have a lot of circles. Okay, if you know how to draw a circle, you can draw a teddy bear, trust me. So we're gonna start with a big circle at the top of our paper. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look how mushy my circle is. It's not even a great circle. Yep. Now, we're gonna do the ears, and for the ears, we're just gonna add a half circle on either side of the head like that. Now on the inside of the ears, we're going to erase those lines from that first circle we drew. There we go. And then we're going to add a little half moon. Let me make this one bigger. Do you know what a half moon is? It's like a half circle. Yep for the inside of the ear. So we're just kind of making the same shape as the outside of the ear, but really tiny on the inside. All right, so there's the head already. Now for the mouth, let's draw an oval shape right at the bottom of our big circle. Okay, so kind of this oval shape, and that's gonna be the teddy bear's mouth area. Wow, guys, circles are harder than I thought. <laughs> At least to make them perfect. And then the nose is another oval in the inside of that oval, but at the top of it. 
And then we can just do a little straight line coming down from the middle of the nose, like that. And then do little half circles to make the smile. <laughs> kind of like a puppy mouth. It does look like the puppy we drew last week, a little bit, yeah. Very nice. Okay, the next step is to do the little eyes. And the eyes are gonna come up and touch this top part of the mouth that we drew. So you can make your eyes as big or as little as you want. I'm gonna make mine a little bigger. And I'm gonna make little highlights in them. I'm gonna give it some eyelashes. Very cute. Right, let's do the feet next. I'm gonna draw two circles for the feet. One over here, yep. whoop, and one over here. Let's see the arms next. For the arms, we're just gonna draw these sock shapes coming down. <laughs> They're just so curvy. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to connect the legs to the belly by just drawing a line pointing to the belly like this. <laughs> and then we're going to take the end of that line and wrap it around and suddenly your teddy bear has legs. And then you can just draw a little line in the middle connecting it so your teddy bear has a bottom. <laughs> Now, if you want to get real fancy, you can draw another circle inside of the feet. Or cute little paws. And paw prints. Yeah, I was just thinking that too. For paw prints, you just do a circle and then three little circles. How cute is this? So cute. Love it. All right, we found our Sharpies. The next step is to outline our teddy bears with Sharpie. And this will help us see where we want to paint later. And remember, when you outline with Sharpie, watercolor paint will not move the Sharpie at all. It just stays put. Yep, Sharpie is permanent. Yes. <laughs> Which also means you need to be careful around your table, right? Yep, try not to get it on your table. Otherwise, it will stay there and stay there forever. I like how yours is filling your whole paper. Mine is all at the top. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so while Ansley is continuing to outline her bear, I'm gonna be grabbing some paint colors and just squeezing it out on our palette. And I think you already told me you wanna do a rainbow bear, right? Yep. Yeah, of course. Everything's rainbow. You're gonna laugh at me. I'm gonna be super boring and make mine brown. <laughs> brown is not gonna be boring. It's gonna look like a real teddy bear. I agree. All right, so we each have a watercolor brush and now we're going to paint our bears. Mine kind of looks like a panda. <laughs> he does, yeah. He looks very much like a teddy bear, I think. All right, now if you decide to do rainbow like Ansley is doing, you're gonna need to have some water on hand and you're gonna need to rinse your brush after each color. Yeah. And not only rinse it, but then dab it on the paper towel. We've got some paper towel over here before using a different color. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's gonna help your colors stay bright and clean. And now we're gonna do it a special way today. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the watercolor part of it. I'm gonna start with clean water. And I'm just gonna do one little section at a time. So for example, 
If I decide to start with this little arm right here, I'm gonna paint it in with water, making sure that I only paint with water inside of the lines. Now with watercolor, wherever your water goes, the paint will go. All right, now watch this. Once you've got a wet piece of paper and you drop some paint in, it will spread around and bloom really nicely in that area. Okay, so that's kind of how we're gonna paint our teddy bear, is in little sections. So just do one arm at a time, or the head, or one section at a time, okay? Now you can paint your bear any way you want, or color it if you have markers or crayons. I got crayon color pencils, markers, and watercolor. Mm -hmm. I'm an artist. We've used all of them, haven't we? Yeah. The thing about this liquid watercolor is that it's so vibrant. It's really bright. And so if it's too bright, you can always add a little bit of water to tone it down a little bit. But that's something I like about it. You can get a super bright result with very little effort and only a tiny bit of paint. Once it dries though, it's not quite as reusable as regular watercolor. Ooh, I like that. It looks like his head's on fire. <laughs> that is exciting. It's an exciting teddy bear. Look at how fun that is with the blending happening between the yellow and the red. <laughs> it's very colorful. Blend. I love it. Your bear is so cool. I don't care if it blends with the red. It looks beautiful. It really does. But it's so fun how that's blending. I think I like yours better than mine. I think grandma will love it no matter what. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so once our bears are finished, we'll let those dry completely before we go on to the next step. Okay, your teddy bear looks amazing. Aww. I like it better than mine. It's so colorful. Thank I you. love it so much. So the next step is just, to, is just to make our cards. And so let's each take our papers. And I have here some adhesive squares but you can actually use glue or tape or something like that. And so we're gonna just take the little squares and they're just these sticky little square stickers, sticky on both sides. And we're gonna stick them in the corner of our watercolor paper. There's and that's what we'll use to stick it to our card. And then we're gonna carefully stick our bear right in the middle of our card. Next, we're gonna take our windows and like I said, if you guys want to cut out paper, uh, these are adhesive pieces of paper that I pre-cut using a paper cutter. And so I'm peeling everything off except for the window part. You see, we're gonna just leave that on so it doesn't stick. But just peel that off. Peel, try not to peel that peeler off. And then we're gonna carefully stick our window all around our bear. Yep. And stick. in the inside you can write a little note or something like that. You might need a parent or somebody 
with a good eye for symmetry <laughs> to get it on straight for you. Yep, it's and kind there. of like opening the little leg. Yay, all right, let's show the camera. Do you like my teddy bear? Love it. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to our channel. And we really, really hope that this project will be something that will make someone smile. And be sure to send it to someone you know who would really, who could really use a teddy bear hug right now. See you next time.